Saturday. Thanks for coming up to face the music, but uh, an excellent 6-0 result and we're through to the next round of the FA Cup. Yeah, absolutely delighted. You know, that was the plan, obviously, going into any game, any cup match. You want to make sure you're in the hat come the Monday and obviously the way the game's panned out, this was obviously had a really good win. What plays you most, the six goals or the uh, experience some of the young lads have got in the competition or the clean sheet? All of them, yeah. all of them. but uh, yourself, uh, well yeah, you know, the, the team to score six is good because obviously you're forward, you want them to score and they gain the confidence um, and it wasn't until late on, obviously the extra man is going to wear them down and that's exactly what happened. So the score six, delighted with, again, clean sheet as well, any team, if you keep a clean sheet, stating the obvious, you're guaranteed something in any game and we always, the plan was always to get some of the young lads on. So yeah. all in all, the way the games went, it's been a good day all round for us. So from a managerial point of view, we couldn't have gone any better really. Uh, I'm just hoping there's no injuries on uh, on top of what's been a good afternoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brad, Brad came off just with, with a bit of tightness. Obviously Goose come off just again, protect him. Yeah. Um, and Lewis again, because he hadn't played for so long, you know, it was, we didn't, you know, we just we always the, the plan was always just to give Lewis about sixty minutes. So all in all at the minute we don't you know, the lads phone into Kirtland tomorrow morning but we don't think we've got any more which is good. Well, it'll be two goals ahead and uh, a bit of luck probably with a penalty and a sending off. You know, we can't argue with the decisions. I think they there were the right decisions. But uh, did you feel for them a bit? I mean it was tough going for them in the first place on a hot afternoon, they're down to ten men. But credit to them, I thought for an hour or more they made a, a, a decent fist of it. Oh yeah, yeah, look, it's, it's still fair play to them. You're, you're right, they're, they're fair decisions. That's true, it's a sending off. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, you know, penalty to penalty, kind of, you know, it was a penalty. Mm -hmm. So we got the right decisions from the ref, the ref was good, I thought. Um, but fair play to them, even at half time, we said, look at them, they still had a lot of attempts. Not, you know, like more than what we wanted. Yeah. So they didn't just throw the towel in, they kept changing their shape, they tried to find a way of like staying in the game and keeping us on the back foot a bit. And then second half, again, we had a we were poor, I thought, for the first fifteen minutes where yeah. we give the ball away too cheaply. But credit to them, you know, they didn't give up until I think like they said, the heat. And then when we got it down and just kept finding the extra man and passed it through them shorter. Uh, yeah, we, we, you know, Before the goal spree in the final quarter of an hour, I mean, they rattled the crossbar with a great shot, and then Jim makes a, a miraculous save to protect his clean sheet, and then we, we seemed to kick on from there and finished in style. Yeah, 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 it was a little weird, a great effort from them, and unbelievable save, wasn't it? it the was second indeed. save was absolutely brilliant from, yeah. from Jim. He was delighted, he wanted to keep his clean sheet, and rightly so. So, yeah, that was the only worry, is when he went down, I thought. He's not another edge, but he, yeah. it was just winded for Jim, so no problem. Uh, how have you done in the cup in the past in your previous, uh, you know, managerial roles and coaching roles? Have you? Yeah, have you closest, had a six nil. Uh, yeah, they've had some good results. The closest I've come to like getting with the big boys, because let's be honest, all non-league clubs yeah. want a good run financially for the club. And if you can win two or three rounds and get if you're lucky enough to get into the first round, or you know, you, you might get on TV, etc. Yeah. The closest I got was with Gateshead, to answer your question, we played Tamworth and were in the conference anyway, national. Uh, unfortunately we had a man sent off early doors and we got we got knocked out in the 90th minute and right. Andrew Everton in the next Oh round. my goodness. <laughs> so that's me closest we've come to that. So we would have won a couple of games in our round one and two but we played non-league clubs. So yeah, that was my biggest disappointment with the FA Cup with Touchwood. Who knows, you, you know, oh, we, want, we want to be in the next round. All we ask for in any teams, can we get another home tie? So if we're still in it in January, there's only one tie you want. Well, yeah, yeah, if we're still in it in January, it would be nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah 50,000 at St James's Park would be great. And financially, you know, that, you know, that's the dream of any club. You know, you see it every year. One club actually gets there and they make the club, you know, a lot, a lot of money. Make your club a tie five, ten years. So, yeah. Finally, a word on uh, top scorer Scott Allison. Brilliant. You know, absolutely brilliant. It was, you know, he's second, the one that he's cleaned too, and he just composure, just to like lift it over the keeper, like brilliant. Which was the better goal, that one or his, his third, with a brilliant touch from Connor Hamill's cross? 
Yeah, I still like that one because he showed yeah. great composure because he's, he's, you know, he's got to make a decision and a lot of lads would have maybe just hit the goalie. But yeah, I, I was waiting for the ding and he yeah. was brilliant. That one was for me, but it was still like the third one was good as well. Yeah. Terry, well done. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.